Hey everyone, CPO here, and in this video, you're gonna see me swap out my EQT Beta MPI rail for the production version of the MPI rail from EQT. It basically just involves um, letting the fuel system depressurize. That's why I pull the fuse and start the car in the beginning. And then uh, disconnect everything, pull the rail out, swap the injectors to the new rail, and then put it all back in, right? Anyway, here, enjoy this video of me swapping out the MPI rail, which went fantastically smooth. Before we get started, I did want to show you the one complaint I had about the beta version was how it put the fuel hose right up against the head here. They actually fixed that. So this part right here where the hose rubbed up against the head, that has been resolved by moving that hose adapter thread, the hole, the main port for the MPI rail forward more towards the front of the car. So that's helpful. And look how gunky these fuel injectors are. That's two years of E85 and it's been sitting a lot this year, which hasn't helped me. So fun tip, I did tape a straw to the end of this vacuum so that I could suck out some of the just surface crud, uh, you know, sand and stuff that collects there. And then use the carburetor cleaner to both clean the portholes and then also I use them to clean the fuel injectors and the O-rings for the fuel injectors. Between the beta and the production version. They also changed the adapter for the fuel hose. This black one has a little bit different style to it, so I had to have that with the new rail. By the way, I love this thing. This is the Irwin Vice Grip, and it's super awesome at doing all kinds of things. I'll put a link in the video description because once you have this, you're gonna use it for everything.
It's not without um, some frustration at the end. Not in this video. I think the MPI swap went super easy. It's a pretty easy swap. I did clean the injectors. They were nasty. And I think that that has something to do with my problem, right? So after I got everything done, the car ran like crap. Like it would not hold fuel pressure. I have no leaks. Everything looks good. There's no, no kinks or anything. There's nothing to suggest that there is um, interference with the MPI system. Like I don't see that as being a problem, but the car, the L, the low pressure fuel pump is not able to keep pressure. So I, I don't know um, exactly what the cause that is. I'm still trying to troubleshoot it. I think it could be uh, two years of E85 buildup and then letting the car sit for months at a time. This was not a good year for me. Uh, medically speaking, uh, had a lot of things going on. The car was parked for a long time. And then whenever I did this swap, the car was parked for a week uh, because it took me some time to, uh, you know, to just get out there and do it. So I don't know. I don't know if my low pressure fuel pump is finally giving up the ghost or if there is something going on in the fuel system, the fuel lines, the fuel tanks that may be related to, uh, to crud and gunk like what you'll see on my injectors that is causing a blockage of some sort. Uh, but I'm trying to troubleshoot that. I'm not going to go through that in this video. Uh, I am on the EQT Facebook group. So if you are in that group, uh, I did post that with some sample logs and sort of the backstory. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.